Right guys, welcome back to another video. And uh, as promised, I'm going to do the van tour today. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. And I'd just like to say, I hope everyone has a happy Christmas and a Merry New Year. So let's get on with the van tour, shall we? Right guys, so this is the uh, the Volkswagen Transporter, it's 2019, it's a Trendline van and uh, I've done a few mods to the outside of it, it's got the 20 inch wheels on it, the Innovit turbine alloys and it's also got the tri z -poid running bars down the side, I fitted a, a lower lip to the Caravelle front bumper and also I've got a set of driving lights in there and I've got the chrome inserts uh, fitted into the front as well on the front grille. Also, this van's been lowered by 50 millimetres with the H&R springs. On the rear end, I've fitted um, a tow bar and I've got my water outlet on there as well. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get it set up ready for camp. So I'm going to have to turn the front seat round and, uh, and then I'm going to put the pop top up and show you how that works. So let's get that done now. Well that went well, better than usual, but uh, it can be a bit of a pain to turn around this seat. So I've had these seats covered in leather, and I'm uh, really pleased with the outcome. I think they look great, and also it's got the Vancraft reclining uh, bracket in it, so you can actually get an extra 10 degrees recline on the seats. Um, you can really notice it when they're sitting in the van, it's actually make quite a bit of difference and also that enables you to fold the front seat forward. Right so another thing we need to do when we get to our campground is uh, turn the gas on so uh, all you have to do is put your arm in there turn the gas on and uh, that's it and, and the bottle's actually not too bad to change I made a adjusted a spanner I've got a cut down spanner specially for that um, so you can just undo the regulator roll the seat forward a little bit and uh, out the bottle comes. Right, so the next job when we get to camp is to put the pop top up. Quite a simple procedure. This van has actually got the Skyline pop top in it and uh, it's marvellous. So all you have to do is slide this panel back. You've got a couple of straps here. Remove them. And then it's just a straightforward, you've got two handles here. You can just push it up. And then in this van, we've also had the roof bed fitted and that just can go up as well. If you want to stand up fully, you can stand up fully. And also up top here, let's open one of them. So you can see better. We've got the mesh screens in the side. So we can have plenty of light coming in and ventilation. And uh, we've got a lovely space up there for two. I've actually put a small light over there in the corner. And um, yeah, this has got a big window in the front for even more light to come into. Which is brilliant. When we're just in the van, we can just put the roof bed up and uh, enjoy the view. This has actually got the scenic canvas in this. I'm not going to do it today because it's a bit of a mission to do it. Uh, but I have used it a few times and you can put the scenic canvas right up. And uh, you can have the whole front of the van open. So yeah, the pop top's absolutely brilliant. So this van's got a 60 litre water tank and uh, we've got the fill point there, you just unscrew that, put a hose pipe into it and uh, you're good to go. It's got a water level gauge inside and I'll show you that in a minute. 
Another little feature I quite like. I uh, decided to put the mains hook up for the van underneath the bonnet, which is really quite handy. So when it's plugged in anywhere, no one's going to tamp me with, with your lead uh, because they're not going to be able to get to it. And it literally plugs in there and it runs through here and uh, goes off to wherever your hook up is. Also on the van, I decided to fit an external water hose connector and uh, we can use our our hose pipe with this it's not working at the moment because i've got no water in it but uh it is a great addition to the van and it's great for washing off bits and pieces when you've been out in the sea so yeah just disconnects like that and then i'll just store this underneath there i've got a plastic bag that it goes in and uh yeah works really well also on the back here i've got the tow bar which is a swan neck tow bar usually keep that in the van it's in the garage at the moment but that's really handy for picking up cars with a towing dolly that I've used sometimes. So this is the rear storage compartment at the back of the van. Um, got my fire extinguisher in there. I uh, usually keep the small uh, seats that we use for when we're camping. Also I've got uh, an Alpine uh, amplifier in there, which is uh, really great. So yeah, that's, that's one storage compartment. And then on the other side, got exactly the same, another storage compartment. Get quite a bit in there. See, I've got me a bit of kite surfing gear in there at the moment. Sometimes I stuff a couple of, or at least one kite in there and the seats go in there. And uh, yeah, it's proved to be really good. Decided not to close these off because it's just easier to access stuff uh, from the outside of the van. Also, I fitted a couple of these small storage pockets on the back doors of the van. Quite handy for putting little bits and pieces. Got the GoPro uh, mounts and stuff in there. Duster. In case I need to do some dusting, which I'll probably do actually. So yeah, that's the view from the back of the van. Right, as you can see, I've got a 150 watt solar panel bonded onto the top of the pop top there. Right, so we're inside the van now. On the back of this kitchen panel here, I've fitted a 240 volt socket, which is linked up to the mains hookup. And also we've got another USB charging point there, which is really handy when you're sitting on this seat here. Uh, down the bottom in the corner there, you can see that tube coming out there. That is for my diesel heater, which is a five kilowatt, which is mounted underneath the van. A uh, lot of response on that video. Uh, a lot of people seem to like that one. And underneath the driver's seat is where all the electrical systems housed. So I've got a 110 amp AGM battery in there. That's also linked up to my MPPT Victron 75 amp charge controller. And I've got the Merlin, or is it Sterling Smart Bank, uh, DC to DC battery charger. And it's got a holdover switch on. So if you flatten your van battery, you can start the van using your leisure battery. We've got the Victra Frigo 51 litre compressor fridge. Really great, get plenty of beer in there. So the fridge is uh, excellent. It's got an actual ice box in the top, so you can put some, uh, some uh, well, we've got some ice cubey things in there, you know, the plastic ones, they're great for putting in your drinks. And um, yeah, you can get quite a lot in there, 51 litres, and uh, it's very, very efficient. I mean, I've had it running for about eight to 10 weeks in the summer, and um, we never run out of power at all with the solar. Now that's a great thing to have. On top of that, we've got um, a little drawer, which I actually actually cut this drawer around the, uh, the sink there, as you can see. Um, you can get a few little bits and pieces in it. You know, we just store odd, odds, and, odds and sods in there, as you say. Pack of cards here, always good to have with you. And uh, yeah, it's quite a challenge to build that. So uh, that's, uh, that's a good little drawer. So on top we've got the SNG 420 sink and uh, that's got our little tap in there I think it's the uh, Rix Samba tap um, works perfectly great only cold water in this van but uh, if you need any hot water you can just boil it up and uh, do your washing up there this is the uh, Dometic sunlight oven it's a gas oven and uh, it is unbelievably economical. I think I calculated we'd used it something like 40 times for half an hour 
and we had a four kilo bottle and we still had gas left. I actually changed the gas before we left to go to Spain in case I run out and we've still got the same gas in there now. Also what I've done is I cut an inset into the worktop so that we can take our top off and uh, have a brew and what I do is when I'm not using this top I put it down here slip it underneath the back cushion now so it's totally out of the way and then I've got one of my little cloths to go up there that I can put things on and uh, also to the right of the oven there we've got our Another USB socket, which actually I'm charging one of the camera batteries because that's already died. And then uh, I've got a few switches there. I've got um, one of them is for the Bluetooth amplifier. I've got one there for the lights. We've got one there for the water pump. And the other one is for the diesel heater. On the back of this little cupboard here, we've got the, uh, the diesel heater controller. And uh, we've got our... CBE water level gauge and underneath that I've got a light dimmer so I can dim these lights down or dim them back up again whatever the occasion may be and also on the end here I've got a little cupboard uh, and inside there it's got just bits and pieces first aid kit I've got the uh, Bluetooth amplifier in there that then drives the speakers underneath the, the back of the van here. Yeah, so that's that little cupboard. Great little cupboard that. So underneath the oven, I've got this big pan drawer. I get quite a lot in there, got my kettle and my ridge monkeys are in there. Got my plates, cups, bowls, all my cutlery and uh, you know, other bits and bobs in there it's a massive drawer good for storage so moving to the back I've got another drawer unit there normally put a lot of food stuff in that one and uh, that's proved to be really good it's nice and deep you can get a lot in there so uh, I think that was a good idea to put the drawers underneath there I wasn't gonna but uh, it's uh, worked out really well and then we've got our lagoon table mount there which uh, I'm going to set up in a minute, show you. And then on the other side, we've got another drawer, which is the booze drawer. But uh, again, it's another quite a deep drawer. You can get a, quite a lot of bits and pieces in there, which is uh, what it's all about, storage in a van like this. And then down the back there, we've got our six by nine speakers, which is uh, driven by the car or the van's head unit when we're driving and when we're parked up we can uh, switch over to the Bluetooth amplifier we've got uh, some reading lights in the corners in both corners and then we've got these dimmable LED lights there we've also got the overhead cupboard which is uh, brilliant we've got more storage in there which is great in both of them you can get a lot of stuff in them once and uh, also this has got a light underneath it I believe that is a dimmable light as well yes so uh, that is a, a good bit of lighting also and then on the other side of there we've got our fan shades window pod system also I've got one on this side so uh, yeah, when you're all set up for the night, it's really cosy in here. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna make the bed up. So give you some sort of idea what it's like when I make the bed up. So all we need to do is move these couple of cushions. And there's a locking mechanism underneath the bed here. Pull that open and basically pull the bed forward. It's got a couple of bearings on the back. The back of the bed rolls up and then that folds back down. And then all we do is 
Got our cushions in the right order. And that is it. As you can see, it's uh, quite a big bed. I mean, for one, it's massive. But when there's two of you, one of you sleeps over in this corner, which is, uh, I, I actually sleep on this side, and my wife will sleep this side. Yeah, well, that's the bed. Just gonna put the bed back down now. It's just the uh, reversal of how we've done it. Take them cushions off. That one stays on. You can just lift this up and push this back. And then what happens is it's got a couple of pins down there that lock in place. Push that back. Lock that up. Put your cushions back. That's it. Right, so another another little feature that I built into this van was uh, to some people's horror, but I put a toilet in here. Now, I personally think it's one of the best things in here, along the, with the oven. Uh, it's great, the toilet. In fact, by the sloshing noise it's making, I need to get it emptied. But uh, the great thing with this van is you can have the bed set up and then just hop, we leave that set up of a night, straight onto the loo, you know, do your business, and then uh, that's it. It's the low level Fiamma Biopop 30, that one. It's the lowest, well, as far as I'm aware, it's one of the lowest toilets you can get. I think it's only 300 millimetres tall. So yeah, great toilet, and uh, I built a little carriage for it to sit on as well, so it just, it slots back there, and it actually locks in place, because there's a piece of wood shaped at the back, so the toilet is locked in position now. And then it just goes back in its hole. And uh, you wouldn't even know it's there. So I think the last thing to show you, or one of the last things, is the uh, lagoon table leg, or lagoon table. Currently, I've got the table leg stored under here, which I made a, a little cradle for it. So all you have to do is release the bungee strap, pull the table out, And then it's just a straightforward procedure of putting the leg together and then sliding it onto the mount. And there you go. Lagoon table leg. Yeah, so as you can see, once the table's up, you get a nice extension of your worktop there. And uh, there's a, a nice area there, so if we're in here doing a nice bit of cooking, and that is definitely one of the things we're going to be doing so. So yeah, as I said, the uh, lagoon table leg really makes a great extension of the worktop. So you can be sitting and uh, doing your work on it if you want it to. Or you could just have it as an extension of the worktop. And uh, it works brilliant in this van. Right, so coming to the end of the van tour video now. I'll probably miss loads of stuff. If there's anything you wanna know, drop a comment down below and uh, I'll do my best to answer it. And also, hopefully I'm gonna try and put some more links to the uh, items used in this van in the description. If you need anything and it's not in there, let me know and also I'll try and give you a link if I can. I'm not actually, I was going to highlight all the stuff I've bought for this van, but the list goes on and on and on, and you're just going to get bored of my voice, so uh, I'm not going to do that. When I bought this van, I actually, at the drop of the hammer, I paid £10,500 for a 19-plate van with 6,000 miles on So I paid, with a VAT on this van, I paid out the door 13100 I know that I spent quite a, quite a lot of money on it so the total cut to the chase for the whole van build believe it or not has cost me including the van 26,000 pounds give or take 
you know, 500 quid. So I'm sure you'll agree that a £26,000 van for a... £26,000 van. £26,000 for a van like this is uh, is actually quite good. So uh, I'm pleased with it. And uh, let me know in the comments, see what you think. And I um, hope you can make some sense of my van tour. I've been itching to do it for ages, but I've been busy uh, playing with my other toys now. Um, I'm into wing foiling now. I am a kite surfer, but I'm really getting into wing foiling. So I might bring you along on a few videos. I've also got a few other things planned. I've got all my footage from when we went traveling in the summer. So I might well make a video about that. And uh, I'm definitely going to be doing a cooking video. That's going to be coming just after Christmas. So look out for that one. But if you have made it this far along the video, I'd like to thank you for sticking with me. And um, I hope you enjoyed the van tour. So if you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. Give me a thumbs up on this video. And don't forget, drop your comments down below. And uh, I'll answer everyone's questions if they've got any. So thanks for uh, watching. And uh, see you guys on the next video. Bye for now.